right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the name of an heavenly father, and Yahweh Shah is the name of his only begotten son, who the world knows Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the whole free lake. May the heavenly father bless you with your gracious mercies. You know, today, this um, message is going to be titled, um, We Are In Some Dangerous Times. And I got this, um, so like, got this quick article here. It say FBI and DHS, which is um, Department of Homeland Security, warn of increased threats to law enforcement and government officials after Mar-a-Lago search. That was Trump, um, one of Trump mansions or whatever it is i'm going to play this quick, against federal uh, clip. agents following the fbi's search of former president trump's florida estate those warnings come as a clearer picture is emerging of the man who tried to breach security at an fbi office in ohio jeff pigase reports after january 6th navy and national guard veteran ricky shiver said that he was at the capitol during the attack in his social media post he wrote i was there while he was not among the more than 860 people charged, he appeared to be a dedicated supporter of former President Trump. After the FBI search of Mar-a-Lago, the 42-year-old from Columbus posted on Trump's Truth Social. This time, we must respond with force. And later wrote, if you don't hear from me, it is true I tried attacking the FBI. This week, Trump supporters have taken to social media to criticize the Justice Department's actions. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis called the FBI search the weaponization of federal agencies against the regime's political opponents. Congressman Paul Gosar wrote, we must destroy the FBI. On Thursday, Schiffer tried but failed to breach security in an FBI field office in Cincinnati. He was armed with a nail gun and an AR-15 style weapon. When law enforcement caught up to him, negotiations failed. A shootout ensued, and he was killed. Tom O'Connor is a former FBI agent. This is a very dangerous time, and uh, I hope that uh, we, can, we can slow this down and stop the, uh, the rhetoric, which is going to cause uh, violent actions against FBI agents or FBI employees. Late Friday, we learned the FBI did get a tip about Ricky Schiffer, that he could pose a threat. Still, they didn't have anything specific or credible to go on, but they tried to track him down unsuccessfully until that deadly shootout on Thursday. For CBS Saturday Morning, Jeff Begay is in Washington. Well, yeah, you see, though, how they try to, um, you know, just cover stuff up because it ain't make sense. Now you got all these articles, you know, where he done posted how he gonna attack the FBI, and but they ain't gonna get him. That's how you know, man. Hey, we are not ignorant of Satan devices, you know? And that's another reason to show that he just hate Jake, man. You just had, well, you just shot a nigga 60 times, 60 or 90 times for a traffic violation. But you got a nigga like that, ex, ex military. He, he said he was at the, um, at the Capitol riot. He still ain't get locked up. Then you get online and say, this time we're going to take force and start, you know, attacking the FBI. And you still ain't do nothing. How you didn't, and then you hear we just said they didn't have no credible, you know, information to go and get them. But how, when you just posted his, um, his, his Trump tweet, his Trump, um, yeah, his Trump, um, you know, status on the news. Well, he said we're going to take force and, uh, and he's going to attack. If you don't hear from me, the FBI killed me because I, I tried to attack him. That's just to show you, man, he, he saw a devil, man. You, you, you act like you ain't know what's going on, but you posted on the news what's going on. It, that don't even make sense. And, you know, like I like to use Kodak Black, for instance. Yeah, he a little nigga, but he was on live. And the police cl claim they saw a gun in his background and what they did. They went and kicked his dough in while he was on live. And it went even hours. But here it is. You got this man saying he's going to attack the FBI. And they don't. They acting like they don't know what the hell is going on. You see? 
That's just to show you the hatred that he got towards Jake, man. You know, but you heard what the dude said, though. We are living in some very dangerous times. And, and he is right. Because the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, is really finna turn up out here. This is 2 Peter 2 and 3. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. You see? Finna get the word for perilous. Dangerous. See? Like you just said, we're living in some dangerous times. Harsh, fierce, savage. Troublesome. It's finna get way worse than that out here. You know? That's just more and more way for them to get ready and go ahead to bring in those, you know, those martial law troops, man. Go and lock this place down. You see? It's Matthew 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And you see? They just love men and wax and cold, man. They, hey, they taking up arms against the government, man. They said he had a, a, a nail gun and, a, and an a, a, and a assault rifle. So like him. That's just to show you, man. They, hey, that's, that's they blessing. You you pull up with a nail gun ready to kill something. You see? That's just to show you, man, how violent these people are, man. But they want to make it seem like we violent. Because we reading out of the Bible. Because we teaching the Bible. We telling you what the Lord said. Thus said the Lord, but we the violent ones. And here it is. You got this nigga pulling up with a fucking nail gun and an assault rifle. Trying to kill FBI, you know, um, agents. In law enforcement. You see? That just to show you, man. Hey, the Lord really finna turn up out here. You see? The Lord, man, the Lord, the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. And um, this second Edges 15, verse 14, it say, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one person shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. You see? And what he had a sword in his hand, man. And then another thing. They tried to negotiate with him after knowing that he trying to kill FBI law enforcement. They tried to negotiate with him. But here it is. You shot JK 60 fucking times over a damn traffic violation. You had to what? Um, you shot a damn woman, a pregnant woman down. It was like a year or two ago. Uh, what, Brianna? The list goes on, you know. It was the Lord judging him, but still, though, Esau, man, he don't think twice about killing Jake. It's a sport to him, man. They get off on that. You see? But like as they say, he said, one people shall stand against another and fight with swords in their hands, you know. It's going to be, um, what, the rich against the poor, you know. Uh, race wars. All that, man, is going to be going on out here. Verse 16, say, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. You know, sedition, they, hey, they ain't going to care about, they don't care. You see, he don't, they don't care about the law enforcement no more, man. Uh, you having it where in certain places, the whole law enforcement just quitting. It say, They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You see, there's, there's him not regarding his king nor princes. You see, this is your law enforcement. You know, FBI supposed to be one of the top law enforcement. And you, you, you took up arms against them. You see? But hey, these are the times we living in, man. It's going to get way worse out here. Hey, Lord willing, this video edifying. With that, I'm going to say shalom.